All right. <sighs> okay. Here we go. All right. <sighs> so the news broke out and let me turn these lights off cuz they they don't look good. Yeah. So the news broke out today about Jeff Hardy and Jeff Hardy has been released from WWE. Um, yeah, man, it's just, it's really sad, man. Like, I'm praying to God that he's all right, that he gets better. We're going to read the news right now. This is coming from Wrestling Inc. and Fightful. Um, WWE has reportedly released Jeff Hardy. I'm reading this off my off my tw off my iPhone 12 Pro Max. Um, Hardy was reportedly offered help and rehab, but the but the assistance was not accepted, according to Sean Ross of Fightful. Hardy's release comes after he was sent home from the road last weekend. As we've noted, he tapped out of a six-man main event at Saturday's W Live event in Ed in Edinburgh, Texas. After appearing more sluggish as the match went on, Hardy immediately disappeared through the crowd. As security followed him, he never returned and did not appear for the post-match celebration with Drew McIntyre and Keenan Xavier Woods after the win over the bloodline. Hardy missed Sunday's live event in Corpus Christi and was replaced by Rey Mysterio. It was reported that he had been sent home. As noted, Matt Hardy had provided an update on Jeff earlier this week saying that he was at home and was okay. The most This most recent WWE run for Hardy began at WrestleMania 33 in 2017 when he and Matt returned since being away since, two, since 2009. Hardy was scheduled to team with McIntyre this Friday on SmackDown to team up against Happy Corbin and Mad Cat Moss on this week's SmackDown, which will not happen and will be changed. And it's really bad. Damn. And I think his and his wife tweeted out something. Beth Hardy, Jeff Hardy's wife, noted on her Twitter account that the family is good. In quotation, Jeff is good. We are good. Post that. You heard that. Thanks. Peace, fingers emoji. Jeff has not issued any public comments since the release was revealed today. I am honestly praying for this man, Jeff Hardy. Um... I hope it's not a relapse. I hope it's not what I think it is. We don't. Now, it's none of our business. We don't know if he relapsed. We don't know if he got sick, if he was hurt, he was tired, dehydrated, exhausted. I'm not going to now I'm not going to jump down on Jeff Hardy's throat. I'm not I'm not going to do that. Um this man needs some positivity in his life. This man, you know, potentially fighting demons. And he needs that support system. You know, when you're fighting demons, bro, in real life, like, you're going to need that support system. Because your mental health and your physical health comes first. Your career comes second. Jeff Hardy needs to put himself first. He needs to go recollect himself. He's got a 90-day non-compete clause. And he can... He can take he can take as much time off as he need to recollect himself. Now, and it was now this was very stupid. You got people saying, "Oh, Jeff Hardy did this on purpose so he can get fired from WWE and he can go to AEW." Shut up. Honestly. That was very stupid stupid to say that. And then you got people saying, "Oh, Jeff's AEW confirmed." Oh, Jeff Hardy is going to AEW to reunite with his brother Matt Hardy, and we can get all the dream matches. Guys, I, I, now now don't get me wrong. I love to see Jeff Hardy in AEW, but he needs to put himself first. Guys, 
You don't know what goes on outside this business. You don't know what goes on outside of YouTube, outside of work. You, you don't know. You don't know what goes on with these wrestlers outside of the ring. You know, they could be, they could be happy on the, on the outside, but on the inside, they look defeated. They got these demons inside of them and they need that support system. Jeff Hardy needs that support system. All right. So I don't want to see nothing but positive comments about Jeff Hardy in the, in the comment section. Because this guy needs the support system he can get, man. You know, drug addiction, man, this shit ain't a joke. It's not a joke. Addiction is real out here. It's real out here. So, bro, pray yourself to Jeff, man. I hope he gets, I hope he gets better. You know, use, take a couple months off, come back when he's ready. And honestly, I don't think Tony, because he's, because a lot of people saying, oh, AEW to reunite with Matt. I don't think he should go to AEW until he takes care of himself first. I'm going to repeat that. Repeat this again. I don't think he should, he should go to AEW until he he has himself recollected. He's better menta mentally, physically, emotionally, and all, and all aspects of life until he gets himself together. You know? He's got, the man has to put himself first. Professional wrestling, second. But anyway, man, my prayers go up to Jeff Hardy. I hope he gets better. You know, I think y'all can agree with me. I don't, I don't want to see I don't want to see him in another wrestling promotion unless he has himself together first and puts himself first, and he's healthy. You know. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think of the release. Um, my prayers go up to Jeff Hardy and his family. Hopefully, hopefully he takes the time to recollect himself mentally and physically, um, gets better, man. But make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for SmackDown and Rampage, man. Love y'all.